Hey, how's it going? This is Jack Oberkirsch with HomeMusicMaker.com, and today we're going to be doing a little tutorial on how to cut and paste in Reaper. So, before we go any further, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We got a bunch more awesome content coming to you from this channel, so you don't want to miss out. Um, anyway, let's just jump right in. This is the track that we're going to be working on today. <laughs> Awesome. So yeah, a bit of like a 50s rock and roll track. So um, what we're going to be doing is rearranging some of these vocals that we have recorded. Um, and that way you can get some experience with cutting and pasting Reaper. So let's get right into it. All right. So first of all, on these uh, on this first chorus right here, let's, let's go ahead and solo the vocal bus also. Um, in Reaper, you can solo certain tracks so that other tracks don't play. And to do that, you can hit the uh, S button right here. So now we have the, uh, just the vocals soloed. She took my heart and took my soul. Got out of town, went on a road. I'm headed home to drink my pain away. Awesome. And what we want to do, or what I'm trying to do right here is, we have these separate harmonies over here recorded. And I want to cut and paste these so that um, we beef up that first chorus. So let's start with this one. So uh, I'm going to start by showing you the manual way of cutting items in Reaper. So highlight the item that you want to work with, right click it, scroll down, and you will see cut items. You'll also see cut selected area item, cut selected area of items, and we'll get into that in a little bit. But for now we're going to do, we're going to select cut items, go over to where we want to put it right here. Um, and we'd better go ahead and insert a new track so that it doesn't interfere with this. Actually, scratch that. We're going to duplicate this track and then delete the vocals that were on it because I wanted the same volume as the uh, the last track, but just a blank track. Okay, so we have that um, vocal harmony that we want to paste in already cut, and when you cut an item, it also copies it. So now all we have to do is um, right-click, scroll down to Paste, and boom. That is the manual way of pasting something in Reaper right click and <clears throat> and then I'm going to line it up right here but yeah the manual wave pasting in reaper is right click and scroll down so let's see how this sounds let's see if we got it lined up she took my heart and took my soul got out of town went on a road i'm headed home to train. cool so that's the first harmony right there and then let's go ahead and grab this one too um and for this one we're going to do the not manual way of cutting it. This is the, the hotkey version. So if you're on a Mac, go ahead and press um, Command and then X. Um, if you're on a PC, it would be Control X, you know. Um, but since I'm on, I'm on a Mac right now, I hit Command X. All right, and then let's go paste this one in. Again, on this, we're going to duplicate this track, delete what was on it, and now we can use this track to paste in what we have. And then also I'm going to show you the automatic way of pasting something. So on Mac, it's going to be Command V. And if we were on PC, it'd be Control V. All right, let's see if we line this one up too. I always knew my girl would go, but this is all I've got. And so I'm headed home to say Cool. Um, as you can tell, I went for like the kind of over the blown out 50s old 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 timey kind of sound and mix for this song. Um, but now you're probably wondering, okay, but now we have no harmonies over here in this chorus. But now that we have all these harmonies together, we can highlight all of them. Uh, right click and go down and hit copy. And then let's paste these in. And then line them up. But yeah, that way now we have uh, strong harmonies on both of our choruses. Gee, she took my heart and took my soul. I always knew my girl would go, but this is all awesome. So those are lined up pretty nicely. Um, and then yeah, so let's just do a quick summary of what we, what we had done. So if you want to do a uh, a manual cut of in Reaper, you right click the item that you want to cut, which will also copy it. So cut and copy. Um, and then you can scroll down to cut right here, select that, or you can hit command 
X slash control X, depending on which system you're on. So that's how we cut. And then as far as pasting, remember you can um, either hit, uh, you can right click and scroll down to paste, or you can hit um, command V slash control V again, depending on which system you're on. So that's um, how you can cut items in Reaper, cut and paste items in Reaper. But I want to show you how to cut just selected sections of an item. So let's find a good example of where we where we can do this. So let's say for example, and this is just for an example, I'm not sure why we would want to do this, but let's say we just wanted to cut this first line of this vocal right here, of this, uh, of this line right here. Um, so what we're going to do is use the highlight function to select the area that we want to cut, scroll down, or right click, scroll down, hit uh, cut selected area of items, and now watch what happens. Just this section is gone. So now if we wanted to, we could take that and go and put it, um, and again, I don't know, this is just for the safe, sake of an example. We could then take this, just this first line, and um, paste that in, just like that. Boom. And again, so that's how you can uh, just cut selected area, or just cut a selected area of an item in Reaper. Cool. But I'm going to undo that because I did not, again, I didn't really actually want to do that. I just wanted to show you guys how to cut a selected area of item go back here undo, undo. okay it's back all right anyway that's how you can cut and um, paste in reaper again it's pretty simple you can do it the manual way by selecting the item you want to cut scrolling down and hit cut items slash uh, slash cut selected area of items whichever you're depending on whichever you want to do um, and then you can paste using Command V slash Control V, or again, you can do the manual way of pasting. Right click, scroll down, paste. Um, but yeah, it's pretty simple. It definitely is, it's definitely a valuable asset for you to know how to edit properly when it comes to um, working in a DAO. So yeah, but anyway, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I'm Jack Oberkirsch with home, HomeMusicMaker.com. Thanks for tuning in. Like